You've made it to the Radagon fight. You're stuck with his dumb hammer move and you can't even figure out why when you dodge you still get hit, and your mimic is almost dead by the time you even pass Radagon. You die to the Elden Beast after he gets to 3 fourths of his health and you're stuck. Until you found this guide. To fix this issue, here's an extremely simple guide that will run down every mechanic of Radagon and what you can do to avoid it, as well as synergies you can use to kill him quickly and efficiently. Let's start with a rundown of items to bring to the fight. Use a personal buff like Blood Boil, Aromatic, and Godric's Great Rune. Boost your damage as much as possible and health pool so you can survive if you get comboed out. Use defensive buffs like Holyproof Dried Liver to reduce your damage taken from Holy Damage by 15%, or an Uplifting Aromatic to increase all physical damage dealt by 10%, and reduce damage taken for one hit by a massive 90%. Lord's Divine Fortification is also extremely useful here, as it reduces holy damage by 60% for 70 seconds. If applicable, use Grail's Dragon Roar if you are a faith user. This will decrease Radagon's attack by 20% and increase damage dealt to him by 10%. The Mimic tier can use every single one of these items, so if you have the summon, make good use of it at this fight. Radagon's Weaknesses Radagon has 35 absorption to slash, standard, and pierce, but with strike he only has 10 absorption. This makes weapons like clubs and hammers extremely efficient towards killing him quick. Radagon is immune to hemorrhage, sleep, madness, and death blight, but not immune to poison, scarlet rot, and frostbite. His ceiling for triggering such effects is high, but it can help you out in the end especially if you are using a weapon like the rotten battle hammer, which this weapon has 65 scarlet rot buildup and strike damage. Lastly with Radagon's weaknesses is his spell absorptions. Don't use holy at all, he will absorb damage by 80% with holy damage. With magic and lightning he has 20% resistance and he has zero resistance to fire which means making use out of spells that deal fire damage will help you drastically. Now that we have the basics covered, let's move on to the fight itself and mechanics you need to learn. Radagon has a total of 8 attacks. Each attack can be dodged. His first attack, Radagon Spear, he will throw a large spear that will explode after sitting for a couple seconds. Jump over or dodge the spear and keep distance from the explosion. The second attack, Holy Spear Fan, Radagon will throw 5 small Holy Spears in front of him, which also sit before exploding. You can dodge through this attack as he throws them at you. Grab. Radagon will grab you with his missing arm and then slam you with a hammer. This attack lags slightly, so when you see him start it, wait 2.5 to 3 seconds to dodge roll at Radagon. Charge Swing. Radagon will charge at you with his hammer held out. This attack can be avoided by dodging into Radagon. Gold Breaker. Radagon will jump into the air and hover, then lunge down at you and do an AoE pulse after. This attack is similar to Melania's phase 2 attack, so just like you would with her, dodge towards him as he comes down to lunge at you. Triple Hammer Slams. He will imbue his hammer before slamming the ground 3 times. The last attack will print the Elden Ring logo on the ground. The wiki doesn't tell you anything about this attack, so here's from my experience. When he's slamming on the ground, it's extremely hard to dodge the attack if you are caught within as you will fly into the air. When he does the attack, run away and feel free to panic roll. And on his final slam, pay attention to his positioning. The lines that come out from the logo can be told by looking at the way he is facing, so I will show you here where you need to stand to avoid the final slam of this attack. This attack is the reason why I failed 35 times on my mage character with this- Anyway, next attack, Draining Field. Radagon summons a Holy Spear and slams it down, creating a field that will damage over time. Don't stand in it, and dodge away from it. Imbued Hammer Slams, his final attack, has two variations. One will be a normal slam with an AoE, and the other he will drag the hammer. When he drags the hammer, it will leave behind a damaging field that explodes. Dodge into the attack to avoid it. This is part 1 to a 2 part series which will also cover the Elden Beast, so if you like the video make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future content. Thanks and have a wonderful day.